Good morning. Today is February the 21st, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Happy Mardi Gras, uh, which actually translates to, to Fat Tuesday. People think of Mardi Gras as just a big, long season in New Orleans where all kinds of goofy stuff happens, where that's actually the whole carnival, uh, the whole epiphany season. But today is actually Mardi Gras. Tuesday, Fat, Fat Tuesday, if you um, translate the French. And you can have lots of fun today. Uh, when Jody and I lived on the Gulf Coast, I remember going to the uh, Biloxi uh, Mardi Gras parade. They'd have a, and they'd have two. And one of the nice things about those, was they were very family friendly. You'd still get beads and cups and all kinds of goodies. Um, but it was always, um, you didn't have to worry about anything happening that you, uh, that would be unsafe for kids or, or anything happening that you were worried about things getting out of control. And people celebrate Fat Tuesday in a number of different ways. It's the, what they're actually doing. The whole idea behind it is um, getting rid of all the things um, th that you're not going to be doing um, during Lent, like all the fat, all the fatty foods, all the you know meat and things like that. Because people used to fast off from meat for the whole season of Lent, which starts tomorrow with Ash Wednesday services at twelve and seven, um, but. Now, more often than not, in terms of the, the um, giving up meat, it's gone more to people do that on Fridays in Lent. That's where you get, uh, you know, if you're in an area with a whole lot of our Catholic brothers and sisters, you'll find a fish fry somewhere. Um, and people have different traditions. I've been at churches that sometimes will have a, a pancake and sausage supper um, on, on Fat Tuesday. My field church, my first year in seminary, wasn't a big fan of their thing. They did a pork and sauerkraut dinner. Maybe you like that, and eh, not so much. But it's that getting ready to give up something. Now, as Lutherans, you can choose to give up something for Lent. It's not something that we make you do, but it is a good um, spiritual discipline. And the one thing I suggest is just that if you give up something like... Um, Let's say, you know, you give up soft drinks for Lent. Or if it's really tough and you gave up coffee for Lent if you're a coffee drinker. Yeah, that's one of those times where I say it's okay to break that on Sunday before you come see me. Um, but, or, or let's say you, oh, well, I want to watch a whole lot less TV or something like that. If you do something like that or whatever it is you might be giving up, what I recommend then <clears throat> is that with whatever you've done, is that you take up something. If you... If you give up something that you're buying, like let's say it was a soft drinks or you're not going to smoke during Lent or, or something, something else or a certain type of food, then take that money you save and put it towards something good. Um, money for the food connection or uh, another you know, charity that you think would um, you know, benefit the world, benefit our community. Uh, and then maybe whatever you've given up, if you you realize that's something you shouldn't be doing anyway, you'll be able to give that up past Lent. But it's good to take something out. If you give up something that has to do with your time, like you're not going to watch but a little bit of TV, then maybe spend that time in prayer or uh, reading scripture or even taking a walk uh, out outside. Our, our bishop is actually doing a 40-40-40 where he's over the 40 days of Lent, um, he's going to Try to walk a mile every day and give a dollar every day and let's see 40 days 40 miles 40 dollars um and i can't remember i'd have to look it up i'm sorry money would go to world hunger or disaster relief or something like that those are things you know you could do but um this is the day that everybody lets it all out and parties a little bit as, as we just get ready for uh the season of lent that's coming up as we get closer and closer to the cross and realize our need for a Savior. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for this day. Uh, we thank you uh, for a time to, to let it all hang out, to party a little bit, and to remember uh, what you did for us. Um, help us as uh, we prepare for Lent coming up tomorrow to um, remember how much we need you and help us, uh, if we choose to give up, give up something, to remember that we don't depend on those things. We depend on you. 
You are the source of life, love, and salvation. Continue to help us as we reach out to those in need. Let us be your hands and feet in this world as we share love and healing with others. We continue to pray for peace, uh, especially in, in communities that are, are torn, uh, like Memphis, because of, um, because of deaths or places where there have been shootings, or countries like Ukraine where they're still at war. Help their, please bring peace to this world. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.